G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, it's Tuesday here in Australia, but it's Monday uh, over in particularly places like the States and the big institutions and all the day trading and that has woken up. And look what we see. It is just a sea of green. Everything is moving. We had the, the weekend retracement that again we get almost every weekend. It's not every weekend though. We do have the odd weekends where we just pump straight through it and we have a weekend a weekday uh, retracement instead. But look at this. There is hardly anything red in the top 100 at all. It is just, it's a great sight to see. And again, this is what a crypto bull run is all about. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty happy with things, with how things are going at the moment. And, you know, if this is playing out as it has previously, and no one really knows for sure, but the chances are more likely than they are unlikely, we've still got such a long way to go. I mean, these gains are just, they're not even that crazy yet when things are kind of, you know, when everything's basically doubling, tripling in a week, that's when... Well, based on the last one anyway, that's when it's probably time to sort of get out. And we, we can see in the seven days here, there's not things that are really doubling and tripling too much. I mean, Dogecoin has, but that's also come down. That was a little bit higher, you know, but these are really, really good gains. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Aave, loving Aave. So much green here. Now, the big daddy though, it has woken up. So the OG, Bitcoin, the big dog, 46,000. It is in price discovery again, and it shows here. So the Bitcoin dominance has risen. It was falling for a while. It was getting down into the 50s. Bitcoin's woken up, and a lot of this probably has to do with this. So Tesla, they've finally come out and announced they have bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. So that works out to be 15% of their net cash holdings. So don't get me wrong, they've still got plenty more cash. They haven't gone crazy into it. But look, 1.5 billion is nothing to sort of sneeze at. And what's interesting is this is just the first of the, the kind of big five or big six you know, traditional companies that have come out and said they're buying it. So now we're really looking to see when's Netflix going to do it? When's Apple going to do it? When's Facebook going to do it? Once all of those big companies do it, and they will, they, they can't not now, they can't be left behind. There's been so many other, you know, not big publicly traded companies haven't done so much of it, except for MicroStrategy, they really were the first, but now it is just starting to snowball, and that's why the Bitcoin price is really starting to move. I mean, I'm sure Elon Musk has bought with other companies that are sort of fall under Tesla. So this is just what we know about Tesla. You know, SpaceX probably bought some and I know he's got other little companies and his own personal holdings. I'm sure he's bought uh, a, a reasonable amount. Well, it'd be significant for anyone other than <laughs> Elon Musk, I'm sure. But the price is starting to show and things are really starting to move. Again, as I said in yesterday's video, I am super bullish about crypto at the moment and I can't see that changing anytime soon. Now, don't get me wrong, sort of September-ish, August, September, we'll have to wait and see where we are. Uh, it could go on a whole lot further. And I said a few videos ago, someone said they think that this bull run could last 22 months. Uh, I'm not sure about that. 22 months from now is, you know, December of 2022. I think that's probably a little bit beyond what most people would be thinking, but imagine if they're right. That means anything that you're in now is probably going to be worth, you know, who knows how much more. And again, I have to say this every video, I do apologize, but that is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And look, that doesn't mean everything goes up, but if you're in the good projects, as long as Bitcoin continues to rise, everything else is going to rise. But when Bitcoin gets on that big pump, um, the altcoins don't do quite as well. So when Bitcoin's pumping, altcoins, they do go up a little bit. They kind of go to sleep for a while. But then when the big boy goes to sleep, that's when everything else really starts to pump. So we can look over here. Gas price is still high. Ethereum, what can we do? Hopefully someday, excuse me, in the not too distant future, that'll uh, fix itself. But let's have a look, 1.4 trillion. We were just under a trillion dollars like 
seven days ago, a week ago. I don't think it was even that. We got up to 1.2, then we fell down under a trillion, then we got back up to 1.2, and now we're at 1.4 trillion. The money is coming, the inflows are starting. This is, as I said in my video yesterday, the globalization of cryptocurrencies is happening. PayPal's going worldwide with crypto. Visa said they're looking into it, that just means they are. They, that's, a, that's their nice way of saying that it is about to happen. Money is flowing in. Michael Saylor had his Bitcoin conference. Now there is another really interesting story, Ethereum. So again, we're in price discovery, but it hasn't really pumped anything too crazy. But look at this. ETH represented 80% of last week's institutional crypto inflows. Institutions are coming to Ethereum and this is going to explode. It is absolutely going to go mental. I can just see it. And the fact that 80% of last week's institutional money went into Ethereum lets you know that. They see the Bitcoin price and how much it's gone up. And don't get me wrong, they're still going to invest in Bitcoin. But they've probably looked at the things like Metcalf's Law that uh, Raoul Powell has talked about. Probably butchered his last name there. Raoul Powell, I think is how you say it. But he's talking about Metcalf's Law and Ethereum. You know, they're talking about it going to nearly $20,000 in this cycle. And look, Big Boy and other people have said that they see it going even higher. So if you're getting in now at under $2,000 and it goes to $20,000 or more, you've 10x'd your money. Where else can you go where you can 10x your money? And again, just my personal opinion, not financial advice. I think Ethereum's one of the safer bets. So if you don't know a whole lot about crypto and you're new to the space, you know, coins like Bitcoin, I mean, number one, pretty safe bet. Doesn't mean it can't go lower, but over time, it's pretty much guaranteed it's here to stay at the moment. Ethereum, the same. I think things like uh, Litecoin here to stay, it hasn't even had a big pump yet. This is still almost 50% under its old all-time highs. It has such a long way to go. Cardano, I mean, making amazing moves, up 70%. Its all-time high was about $1.20. I think it's $1.18. This can still double, basically, before it goes into price discovery. So the upside for some of these things is absolutely massive. But with cryptocurrencies comes all the risks. You can't have these kind of rewards without basically those kind of uh, retracements as well. So it is quite possible, I think unlikely, but definitely quite possible that this whole cryptocurrency market at some stage, maybe tomorrow, could lose nearly 50% of everything. That wouldn't be uncommon. It doesn't mean that the world's gonna end and you know everything's going to zero. It's just what we call a healthy retracement. All right, before we get into some other stories, let's have a look. I mean, everything's really pumping, but what is really pumped in the top 100? And that's where I like to focus most of my investing. Oh, BitTorrent. I got some of this for free. It was an airdrop. Uh, and I made a little bit of profit and I sold it, but oh, I'm kicking myself now. If only I had have held on to that. But anyway, congratulations to anyone who did hold on to BitTorrent. You know, 200% in 24 hours is pretty amazing. And nearly 300% well, not quite, 250% anyway, in seven days is amazing. Terra Luna just continues to go on a roar. Digibyte finally starting to make some moves that really hasn't done anything for uh, quite some time. Elrond Gold has just been pumping. So these things, are, you know, anyone who's involved in these coins would have to be pretty happy. And again, look, Bitcoin is up there, the number one coin, 20 nearly 22% in a matter of 24 hours. But if Bitcoin really starts to get on a move, you're gonna see a lot of the profits from these altcoins start to bleed off and move into Bitcoin. And look, the fact that Bitcoin dominance is rising shows that whether it'll rise by a whole lot, you know, time will tell. All right, plenty of green. Was there any, well, I'm sure there's gonna be some red, but was there much red within the top 100? No, <laughs> that is the answer. I mean, look at this, some single digit and nothing over 5% in the top 100 losses over 24 hours. <sighs> this is why I love crypto. This is why I'm here. But again, I, I never want to be the bearer of bad news. Just understand when we go into a bear market, if you're new to it, it is as bad as, as it is this good. That's what you need to remember. So something pumping 30% in seven days is amazing. 
watch when they drop 30% <laughs> in seven days uh, and continue to go down lower and lower. And again, some of these coins, and I'm not saying Kyber Network, but some of these coins can lose 90% of their value. So let's say Kyber Network tops out at $2, and I think it's gonna go higher than $2, but let's say it's $2, and you buy it at $2. Over a course of maybe a year, and 50% of it will probably happen in a matter of sort of a few hours to a few days, this could go from $2 down to about five cents. So that is what we need to remember. So for all the newbies, yes, this is amazing and things are really, really pumping, but wow, they dump really hard in a bear market. But in my personal opinion, I don't think we're anywhere near a bear market yet, but we could see 50% retracements. 50% is kind of the maximum that we'd really expect to see, but they aren't unheard of, uh, and then things will start to go up. All right. This was a very interesting story. So most of us who are in this space heard about a guy buying two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins back in 2010. If that gentleman, and I think this is him here, Laszlo Haines says, I've, I've probably butchered his name and I apologize. Those 10,000 Bitcoins today would be worth $470 million. Imagine that, wow, unbelievable. All right, look. More bullish news. So we know that institutions are starting to get into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Now we're waiting for you know local governments and governments and things like that to start to do it. So Miami Mayor wants to move on municipal Bitcoin buy this week. So we see down here, as the cryptocurrency market swells in the wake of Tesla's Bitcoin investment, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez has suggested that he wants to move forward on investing some city funds in Bitcoin. Other cities are gonna do the same, governments are gonna do the same. This space is really, really gonna to start to go mental over the next you know, few weeks to few months. And again, maybe it could be a, a sort of two year extended bull run. We'll have to wait and see. So responding to the news of Tesla's $1.5 billion Bitcoin buy, Influencer Anthony Pompliano wrote that the race is on to see what muni, muni, I'm going to butcher this municipality. I can't even say the word municipality is going to be the first to put Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So again, like little cities, local governments, and things like that, and maybe even big governments. And Tag Suarez, who's spent the past few weeks plugging crypto on Twitter, on Twitter, <laughs> sorry, Twitter. God, I really struggle with the English language. You'd think oh, it's not my first language. So uh, again, more bullish news. It's There's just so much bullish news. It continues to pile in. Now, another per, another firm trying to come up with a, an ETF. It's not a Bitcoin ETF. They just keep getting knocked on the head, but it is a crypto ETF. And a few companies have tried to do this. I think Vanguard did one I spoke about a few weeks ago, and there's been a number of others. So rather than having an ETF for Bitcoin, which no one seems to be able to get across the board at the moment, they're starting to do like crypto inclusive ETF. So it's not, again, just either a Bitcoin ETF or a uh, Ethereum ETF. It is literally a crypto wide ETF in different sort of sectors within it. So we can see down here. Bitwise, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency fund managers, has filed a new prospectus with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, or the SEC, to launch an exchange-traded fund for so-called crypto innovators. The fund manager filed Form N1A with the Securities Regulator on February the 5th, where it outlined its intent to offer the Bitwise Co. Uh, sorry, Bitwise. Crypto Innovators ETF. The proposed ETF will track the performance of the Bitwise uh, Crypto Innovators Index. The proposed index will be comprised primarily of companies that derive more than 75% of their revenue from the crypto sector or that have more than 75% of their net assets held in cryptocurrencies. I think these are the better ETFs, well, not the better ETFs, but they're the ETFs that will get across the line at the moment. And look, I'm generally not into stocks and things like that, but these are things I think would not be bad to invest in because they will have some kind of dividend, but you need to remember the value of them will really significantly drop in a bear market. But bear markets don't last forever and they will continue to, you know, sort of pay out, you know, their 
dividends and things like that. So very, very interesting. These are the kind of ETFs that I think I'll, I would be looking into. All right, last but not least, Cardano. Price rallies 139% following smart contract implementation. So, so things are really starting to happen fast on Cardano and they are pumping those news that they've got a government contract over in Africa. You know, smart contracts are coming. They are almost, you know, one of the most decentralized platforms uh, out there. At least that's what they've said. I don't know how true that is. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm loving Cardano. You know, they've had staking going for a while. The staking rewards are quite good. And there's no sort of fixed amount. You know, you don't have to have 32 Cardano like you have to have 32 Ethereum to stake. You just have to have some Cardano. There probably is a minimum you have to have. But I'd say it's probably one or two Cardano or something like that. But Cardano has really done well. And again, we can go over here. And there it is, Cardano. 70%. In just the last week and again just building and I thought I saw something that said Cardano pipped polka dot for a minute there and for a very short brief uh, amount of time it actually overtook polka dot but then has sort of fallen back behind because there's lots of bullish news coming out for polka dot as well both these platforms I expect to do really really well and XRP just continues to drop Binance coin doing extremely well I do think XRP will fall out of the top 10 uh, and continue to drop until they get this e SEC lawsuit sorted really that's the only thing that's gonna sort of save them and yeah I think there's something on February 18th to do with uh, that uh, the SEC lawsuit so there could be some good news or maybe not so good news in sort of the next week or so all right what a glorious start to the week and again I have said this a number of times before it, it, it's not a 100% golden rule, but if you come in Monday morning and buy Bitcoin and sell it by sort of Wednesday uh, afternoon, sort of Thursday, and then rebuy back in on the following Monday, you can make a profit on it. Now, again, it's not a golden rule, but it does kind of tend to play out a bit. But sometimes it pumps so much during that week that it never goes back down below the price that you sold it. So I don't recommend it. I'm just saying that there is a bit of a pattern there that again uh, and there's a bit of a saying buy bitcoin on monday uh you know you hold till wednesday sell thursday buy a lambo on friday <laughs> uh, and it's something that's said by a bit of traders uh and, and it's been a bit of a sort of a meme and a joke but it, it does play out a little bit but look to buy a lambo with bitcoin you'd have to buy a lot of bitcoin all right anyway that's it for me if you could do me a favor, if you could go down below, you could click that like button, click that subscribe button, click the bell all icon so it'll notify you when I'm making updates. And by clicking the like button, it really helps my video to get out there and be seen. I put out daily content. I will continue to strive to make better content. And I'd love to know your thoughts down below on what you think I could do to improve the channel. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you're all on that game train. And I'll see you next time.